right so in the previous video we have seen uh, how your latex document uh, can construct these theorems and proofs and now let's uh, focus about more uh, fundamental thing uh, which is forms so actually this chapter should be uh, in the beginning of this uh, latex series but uh, yeah somehow yeah let's try to uh, address that thing as well so i will make a new chapter called maybe fonts and uh, yeah so latex actually you can uh, customize your fonts and stylings and there are a uh, whole lot of options are available there but uh, yeah first let's see how we can tweak the font sizes so i will make a new section called maybe font sizes right and uh, i have to maybe use some sort of uh, paragraphs as well so i will generate this random lorem paragraph copy that out and paste it over here let's build it again right now we have this uh, Textual component, but uh, it uh, follows this default uh, font sizes, right? But let's say we want to make this specific component uh, in tiny font. So all you have to do is uh, wrap the entire thing uh, with the tiny command. So if you specify it as like this, and let's build it again. Uh, now you can see that text has been uh, become tiny right so likewise there are a whole lot of options so you maybe you can make this specific thing large right and maybe you can make uh, uh, yeah this thing maybe maybe you can make it as huge so likewise sort of options are there you can uh, look at their manual and understand the rest of the options as well but uh, yeah you can see that now this text has become large and this is the huge text likewise uh, you can uh, use different types of font sizes in latex and uh, you can even uh, have different types of uh, font families so maybe let me use and let me create a new section called font families and let's use this line so yeah so first family is baby, uh, basically uh, the roman family uh, so in order to use the roman family you can specify it as text rn and wrap the sentence like this so if you build it again uh, now that sentence in the roman format which is the default format i use so likewise uh, there are a few other default families uh, so sans serif is another one so in order to use that you can specify this as text sf and uh, monospace is another default family monospace and you can use it as text td so let's build it again right now you can see that uh, this is in the uh, roman format and this is in the sans format and this is monospace uh, format so likewise uh, you can use different types of font families and you can even import your own form family styles as well and uh, yeah uh, considering the font styles uh, you can uh, make this stuff much more customizable uh, so let me define a new section called maybe font style uh, so yeah so let's use very small sentence maybe like this and uh, yeah so 
you can uh, maybe make this entire thing bold right so i think we have discussed this uh, bold fonts and everything in the very beginning but uh, yeah let's uh, let's do that again so if i specify this as text b yeah, then this entire thing will become bold right uh, so let's build it again okay now you can see that uh, the text has become bold so likewise uh, maybe you can uh, make this text as in slanted style so let's say slanted and it should be text sl and maybe you can use a small caps as well so let's say small caps and it should be text sc so uh, text sc yeah let's build it again and yeah now you can see that uh, this line having a different font style which is uh, slanted format and this is having small caps format right so everything has become capitalized and it following this small cap style so likewise you can customize your text uh, stylings as well and uh, that's how we can uh, manipulate fonts in latex and uh, we'll see you in the next video uh, so thank you